All right, spirit. For our group ones, Lion's Gate, the 888 portal, the goals that they are working on achieving, how best can they use the energy of this astrological event to move forward on them? What advice, please? So for our group ones, I'm going to pull a Kachina knife to get a little bit of what it is that you're working on. That's where we're gonna begin. All right, what is the goals or goal that group one is working on the spirit? I'm gonna pull straight from the deck. Let's take a look. For our group ones, we have the page of cups and the four of coins in the present indicating the question we have strength in the recent past. The page of wands for the present. We have the queen of cups indicating the near future. We have the ace of swords and the world for your overall energy. Group one. Whoa. For this upcoming gate, you are you're working on something very big, something that is life changing, something that will give you clarity and begin a new chapter. I'm seeing mainly this overall story, this recent past and in the present, that you have been working very hard on something. You have been with sheer willpower. You are dedicated to making... You are wanting to reshape something. I'm going to put these up here together like this, the way they're laying there, because it's important. These are both pages, and they're both pointing different directions. And this is telling me something. It's telling me that you have been working on something that is so big in the sense that it's as if you're totally changing direction in the present on maybe something that you firmly believed in in the past. I'm not sure what your goal is because I'm getting so many ideas of what it could be. You're going to know the goal. Um, all I can see is the progress that you're making, which is substantial, right? The substantial progress that this opportunity, this astrological dating and time situation of the Lion's Gate has a lot of potential for you to achieve what it is that you are attempting to reshape. You're wanting to take on a new direction with something. And you are bound and determined to make this happen. But in the present also, we have the Four of Coins. And this is telling me that you're, you're waiting for something? Perhaps you're holding yourself back. You're saying that perhaps this just isn't the right time to go on this journey. But you really want to. Now I'm going to go into maybe a couple of specific messages. So I'm seeing a theme. You know, we have the cups and the cups. And it's graduated, right? We have a page that turns into a queen. And this, we have the infinity sign up here as well. This is kind of, this is saying to me that there's some of you have, that have been working on yourself. You're working on yourself, perhaps even on your spiritual gifts or your connection here with your spiritual side, making connections to your higher self, learning to trust that connection and growing with it because you have the Queen of Cups coming in with the potential of this gate. And that is mastering these things, right? Here you are in the present, and here you are graduated. And that is going to change everything for you. You're going to have an incredible amount of clarity and truth on your new journey, this new chapter that you're taking on. 
So that's one specific message. You're working on yourself and you're doing a good, a good job. Now, another specific link that I'm getting to the cups itself is this, this could be about a relationship. That you want to have this new beginning. This could even be that you want to have a conversation about something in, in the past with this person. And, but again, same thing that you're, you're not talking about that yet. You're still holding back for some reason. And then this gate is going to give you the opportunity to have exactly some clarity on maybe what it is. Maybe, maybe you're still thinking about what you need to do or say. You're still feeling that you're not quite prepared to do this. But by the time this gate event happens, and remember it's a, it's a week prior and a week after, this energy is a flowing thing. It doesn't just turn on and off like a spigot. But perhaps within that two weeks, you're going to have some clarity on, on what it is that you want to say. This could even be the person that you're approaching. And there's potential for a brand new beginning if you say the right things. And these right things are about some truth and some clarity, perhaps, I don't, about a situation. Not seeing full details, just again, a progress of maybe where you want to go, a goal that you have with a relationship. All right, Spirit, tell us a little more. What more do we need to know about their current goal that they're working on? Any last advice with our freestyle here? What do we got, Spirit? Let's take a look. All right. Okie doke. Look at this. Mm -hmm. What else? Wow. What else here? Is that it? Is there anything more to say? Uh, I think, oh wow, there is more to say. Okay, let's pull this out. All right, we've got the Nine of Wands. We have Death, which is the transformation card. Nobody panic. We have the Six of Swords. I'm trying to see how, um, how this story is laying out. Let's just lay these here. The Emperor, Justice, and Temperance. Holy cow, guys. Holy cow, guys. Let's take a look. All right, they're blending the two groups of messages that I had before, where I was feeling like, you know, we had someone that was working on themselves. We have folks that are doing that, and and someone that was wanting to improve a relationship. And I'm seeing now that you're the same person, right? You're improving yourself to improve a relationship. Or maybe your relationships. And you're doing a very good job, right? You have been very dedicated. Working on this, dedicated to it. And that is excellent because it's bringing a transformation that is taking you to a better place. In your thoughts, your ideas about things. Maybe even about the ideas that you had in the past about relationships altogether. This is changing for you. It's bringing you some clarity and some truth. And then the next bit of advice here that I have is relating to, I feel like, both things in the sense that this advice is going to help you with the work that you're doing on yourself. But this is also about what it is that this relationship that you're working towards or on or relationships, what you're going to need to bring to the table, right? Because you're here in the beginning, in the present, and this gate gives you the opportunity to move this forward. So what you need to bring to the table beside your truth and your clarity is someone's asking you for some justice about something, some healing of this situation, you bringing this truth, giving them 
some justice, some balancing will bring this healing. They're asking you to um, trigger warning. Buck up. Right? <laughs> You're going from this to this. Right? You're growing up. That's what they're asking you to step into this energy and leave this energy behind. This is being closed off or holding back. But that's what this is going to take. It's going to take you, um, you know, bringing the bacon home here. Putting your truth on the table. Giving somebody a little bit of justice about something. And I'm saying that because we have this card showing up. And I'm feeling like there was maybe some issues in the past with some um, communication. Because here we have, the, you know, the ideas of some communication going maybe not so great and causing some issues and these are the things that you're working on healing healing yourself fixing yourself <laughs> which is excellent that's what we're here to do go fix ourselves right and this is about you making choices this card just popped out didn't even see that underneath the other cards but this is about you making choices about what's best for you what is good for you i am i'm i'm getting follow follow your heart right instead of your head don't fight your heart and this gate is going to give you the opportunity right to bring this justice heal this relationship if that's what you decide to do with this person and have a brand new beginning, brand new chapter. Regardless of the relationship part of this, the goal that you're working on, on, on you, is a beautiful thing. Don't give up on that. Don't give up on that. They're saying you keep going regardless of what happens with this relationship. Maybe you're concerned. Maybe you're concerned that there was too much damage done in the past to some relationships or relationships specifically. But you're not going to know until you um, you bring this, bring it, bring it to the table. Just be honest. Be authentic. Be authentic. And I don't know, maybe say the things that you haven't said before. It's time for you to say those. That's good advice for anybody. Be authentic and choose what's right for you. And that'll bring you some clarity and some peace and healing. Beautiful read, group one. All right. Spirit for our group twos who are working on achieving their goals. What advice can we give them? Well, you're working, but, but maybe things don't feel like they're going quite right. Well, hang on to that. I'm going to pull straight from the deck. <laughs> All right. Maybe it's a little chaotic too. this project that you have or the goals. Maybe things just feel a little um, out of whack or out of control. But that's okay. We're going to get some advice on how to move forward with this portal energy of the Lion's Gate this year. It is 888. Oh, that rhymes. I'm going to pull the Kachina knife, and this is about group two. This is about the goal that you're working on. We're going to get a little look at what that is. Group two, wow, you are working on what direction to go. Mm hmm. Dedicated to finding that direction, too. All right. In the past, we have the Six of Cups. Now, Group 2, what are you doing here? Whoa, Group 2. All right. We have the Tower for this energy. We'll get into talking about that. For the Gate, the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Group 2. What have y'all been up to? Let's look at this. All right. I got to say, Group 2. I wasn't expecting 
this as a goal. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm just going to speak what I see. So here we go. And what I'm seeing is that you, you're a light worker, right? And you are here to do a job, right? You're here to do a job. Mm-hmm. I don't know how much more I need to say about your goal. Now, whether that was the goal that you walked in the door with in mind, but this is what they're going to talk with you about, right? Because as light workers, we are working on this collective goal of, of going a new direction for humanity with humanity. You know, we know, we know why we're here and we're ready. See, he, he's looking right at the devil. Long, hard battle, long, hard journey. Not your first rodeo. Been here, done this, we have the t-shirt. <laughs> and what I'm seeing is this Lion's Gate, this 888. We're going to really see some foundations blowing up. I mean, it's crumbling. It is crumbling. So the thing that uh, we've been working at for so very long is coming into fruition. This direction, this beginning. Really wasn't expecting that group to. Let's talk about this more, please, Spirit. What more for our group to light workers? Here, doing the job down here in the trenches, getting our boots dirty. What more for our warriors to know? All right, a little more here, please, Spirit. What else to tell us about our warriors? One more share here. That one was two in here. Mm -hmm. Emperor on the bottom of the deck. Let's take a look at the story we have. <laughs> it's a beautiful one. Let's talk about this. Overall advice that I'm getting here is all hands on deck, poised and ready. Be poised and ready because there are some great big changes coming in humanity's point of view that this is happening quickly that this gate is going to make this tremendous change in the viewpoints of a lot of people ending ways of thinking and bringing in some light energy and some new points of view. I'm seeing also that we need to expect for a great number of people to begin awakening. Their gifts, their intuition, their discernment is going to go through the roof here. It's going to skyrocket. They're going to want justice. So we have a lot of big changes. We're getting ready to hit some potholes and be on a little bit of a rough ride here for a moment. But we know that it's going to smooth out because we know the end of the story. The end of the story is this brand new beginning for humanity. The end of an old way of thinking. Right? Because Tower, where is he? An old way of thinking. Down the tubes. Yay. <laughs> We're going in a better place. One that's more preferential for humanity, for families, for a loving environment. 
a new beginning, a transformation for them, for all of us. It's exactly why we're here, light workers. Well, look, we're going to get to see what our hard work has done. And in a sense, it's just beginning. But we've got this. Nothing's going to stop this. New beginning. You know this. Looks good. Journey on, warriors. All right, spirit, for our group three that is interested in reaching their goals, how best can they work with the energy of the Lionsgate portal to achieve those goals? I am going to pull a Kachina knife about your goals and then we'll get a little advice on how to move forward. So for group three, let's take a look at those goals that you're working on. You, wow, you are, bam, <laughs> you're working on it. This is in the present. So in the recent past, we have the two coins. And for the present indicating your goal, we have the Eight of Wands and the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Wands. You are all about some wandy action here. Which is action, literally. It's also about inspiration and spirit. This is a card of inspiration. It is the bam making it happen stick. Let's take a little look at what we've got about these goals. All right, group three, you in the recent past, you've been going back and forth on something, back and forth, back and forth. You could not make up your mind. But here in the present, man, you have absolutely made up your mind. This, I've never seen, I've never seen anything like that. And this is pretty cool. I mean, this is just about, you know, you having some absolute clarity and you've made your mind up to do something. I'm not seeing what it is that you're doing. They're just showing me the progress of the goal that you are seeking. And this could be about communication with something or about communication, but also this is just about fast moving events. And I mean, you are on it. You are in gear. You have your seatbelt on and you are ready to go. And this gate this opportunity coming up is going is going to do that. Now, at first, we have for the gate energy, we've got the happy card and the sad card, which is a dichotomy. Let's look at what is going on here because in between is the victory card. So kind of what I'm seeing now is this is kind of pertaining to what was going on with the going back and forth in the past. And I'm sort of seeing it like you had something. Right? You were going back and forth on, back and forth on. You had something that makes you happy, and you had something that you just kind of weren't seeing the value in anymore. Right? Maybe this is the thing that was making you happy. You were looking at the things here. Maybe just, I'm not even sure. Um, maybe just focused in a different direction in your life. And now these things that were here behind you, you realize that these things are the things that make you happy. And maybe this is what I'm seeing, right? Oh, this is good. That you are choosing to go after what makes you happy. So I'm not sure what it is that makes you happy, but you are gonna try to achieve this and you will have the opportunity to have a victory with that. Let's get a little more information please about this decision that they have made that nothing is going to hold them back from. Ain't nothing going to hold me down. Nobody's going to break my... Is that the way that goes? 
I might not have the words right. Oh no. Got to keep on moving. All right, so for more advice, we have again making this choice. This card is about making the choice that is suitable for you, right? What is in your best interest? And you were going back and forth in the past on something, maybe between what was your heart's desire and what you might have actually been doing. I'm, you may have just made the decision to make a very big, a very big life change to open a whole new chapter. So you're making that choice. You have decided. Another wand. No doubt about it. Now let me see more about what it is that you've decided to do. All right. For some of you, this is about maybe a past event a relationship and you've made a decision that you need to maybe communicate with someone from your past that there was something that maybe didn't go so well and you want to change that you want to start a new chapter and that a conversation perhaps or just you taking some action being very clear and authentic absolutely no bullshit that's what this cards about that's what she's about she speaks her mind with grace with elegance but she speaks it and she's very authentic she's blunt she's not gonna spare your feelings she's just gonna say what needs to be said so it could be a person like that, that you want to approach with this conversation or this could be the embodiment of the energy that you need to bring. It could be both. So advice for going forward with this communication, if this is your goal that you're setting, is to be authentic, be real. Um, these things that were in the past. This could also be about moving away from these types of energies, right? You're moving away from things in your past and your goal is making these new things come into fruition. Brand new chapter. And this gate can bring that potential to you. And if this is for you, the goal is leaning more towards a relationship side. This is very similar theme to the reading in group one. And you may want to watch that one as well because there's some more details on what it is that you may exactly need to bring to the table with this relationship that you would like to discuss. I mean, this could be with anyone. This could be with a partner family members. It could be with um, an opportunity at work. It's going to tell you and advise you what best to bring to the table in group one's reading. So for group three now, spirit, how best for them to work with these energies? What advice for their highest and best good? What advice on this project that they're working for? Some of the spirit and energy oracle cards. What is it that they need to know? We've got wisdom of the magi, which is mental clarity and balance. Centered energy, being balanced in your energy and taking care of yourself. Oh, I'm already seeing very much so that you're focusing on your self-care. You focus on taking care of you and this is going to bring you some mental clarity you're going to have the opportunity to move forward and make some advances in that what else spirit ah, and to go outside get grounded watch your thought energies make sure that you are moving towards those things that you are aligned with 
and leaving behind some of those things, maybe even from the past, that were difficult. So maybe a little bit of advice about you letting go of some of the things from your past. And this is going to help you with your mental outlook, your, your, your vibration overall can raise that up some. Focusing on some self-care. Give yourself some love. Give yourself a pat on the back too. Because you have definitely made the decision to do something. And you have the opportunity to make this happen. And this is good advice for anybody. It's going to bring some mental clarity on how to achieve those goals. So get yourself outside. Love yourself. Watch your thought vibrations. What else? Do we have anything else here? For our group threes. Spirit, what other advice? I see this one right here. Ah. And use your intuition and your discernment. Going forward to trust yourself, right? You're following something that you have very clearly been moved and inspired to pursue. And they're saying, go with that. So group three, best of luck with your conversation, if that is the goal that you're working on. Best of luck with whatever this is, your goal is, that you're working on. Because this is what this gate is offering you. Opportunity for a brand new chapter. So, open that door. 